Hello guys, I'm with my friend today, Juliet Sear, and she's very dear to Mackenzie and I because she made our wedding cake. You guys know I can't cook, so I get friends in <laughs> to help me do it. We're gonna make flamingo donuts. Flamingo donuts. Flamingo donuts. So, oh my god, yes! Yeah. What do we need to start? So what we need to do first of all is get our coating on the donuts. So you can melt these on the stove or in the microwave. Yeah. So they can be either. If you're doing it in the microwave, um, I tend to kind of do it on the like medium heat because okay. it's like with chocolate you can sometimes burn it. So just go sort of like low and low and sort of slow really. Um, and then they do. It they do like chocolate. A couple of teaspoons and then well I'll melt it up for a minute and then I'll have a look and I might add a little bit more. So generally you just want the nice kind of consistency of like lovely melted chocolate. Okay. So yeah. I'm off. Brilliant. So that melted. About three and a half minutes. We melted yep. that four just like every minute or so just checking it. On medium. Yeah, we did check it a lot. So just plunge it in like that and then kind of just let the, that's it. Just like that. It doesn't have to be super neat and and all smooth, it's, it's a cake after And these all. are glazed donuts. They're should, just glazed donuts. So you yeah. should get, oh my gosh, it's easy to drop. Yeah. Don't worry, we've got spare. We can, we can just eat the ones we drop. So generally take about sort of 10 minutes to kind of set, so not too long. You can put them in the fridge if you want to speed it up. Oh, okay. And even though we've got a little bit, um, oh, yeah. doesn't matter because um, we're going to have an underside, aren't we? So that can okay. be the bottom. So I love how each one I do, and she's <laughs> like, don't worry, we can cover up mistakes because we're going to add some. <laughs> So now we're going to make the flamingo heads, and this is the part, guys, that you need to do the day before. I'll show you how to do it, so maybe we can make it together. There I we love go. it. It's quite sticky, so we might we'll keep some icing sugar to hand because we might get okay. sticky hands. So okay. I always have a lot of powdered sugar here, so we'll just put some powdered sugar on the surface, and some of them just like one of those wrestlers getting a little bit of hand. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> just like a wrestler. Yeah. So I'm going to get a bit okay. as well, and it's better to have a bit too much because we can cut away what we don't okay. need. So I'll just get rid of that piece for a minute. First thing to do is just kind of. Make it a little bit pliable, just on the okay. surface. Roll it into a sausage. So we're starting off with like a sausage shape. No, that's probably enough. Okay. So um, also something to um, point out: don't press it too hard okay. because you can get like sort of like indentations on it. Oh, so yeah, so that's good. No, that's okay. No, <laughs> no, literally knuckles. <laughs> Pinch off one end now. Just so I'm using the, my palm just to kind of taper it off on one end. Professional me. Sit down, just behind okay. the kind of beaky bit. Just not happy with so my beak. On you. No. <laughs> not happy. Have you ever said that before? No. <laughs> well, press it in a little bit to kind of create the back of the neck. Yeah. And that's it. And then that's it. And then what we'll do is just thin off that neck now, because as you can see, the neck's a bit thinner than the head. And just lay it onto the paper. And while it's soft, you can mould it how you want it. So like, I'll okay. obviously just bend that round like that. And just kind of leave him sort of how how I want him. Oh, he looks and then like cut a flamingo. him. About here? Yeah. Brilliant. So we're going to take the dried ones that we did yesterday. Yeah. And we're just going to add um, a little beak and a little eye, just using just food colouring. So that they look like this guy. Yeah. Paintbrushes. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got a little dish with some black yeah. food colouring. So that's like um, just a liquid food colouring. Okay. And we're just going to paint directly with that. Great. And then also we need some of the yellow. Oh colors. yes. Okay. So which we'll do on. But I think what we'll do is we'll paint the beaks first. So you can get a load of them. I mean, you can see how quick it is to yeah. sort of do the actual decorating. Tiny, tiny ball. There you go, one. Like I've got it yeah. covered. Nailed it. Yeah. Get in there, donuts. <laughs> <sighs> so what you need to do is just get um first of all, um roll each one into a nice ball. I like to kind of make each one into a bit of a cone shape, so I just kind of use my hands just to kind of press it on one side like that, kind of just like this. So I'm just going to use my hands just to pull them out into shape. 
And when I'm quite happy with the shapes, I think that's quite good. I'm now just going to flatten each one a bit. Okay. So then they, they kind of like go a bit larger. So that's my two okay. shapes. So I'm just going to take one, take the other, and just pop them on like that, and just give them a press. Give it a squeeze. Yeah. Oh yeah, they and do. Just give it a nice squash. Wow. The head, you just need to um, hold it. Try not to hold it at the top because if we press it too hard, they sometimes crack. Okay. So I'm just going to like hold line it up neck. and like just push it, push it down, just gently into the donut bit, and that's it. Oh my gosh! Leave them to dry completely before you move them. Well done. Look at this that. is Juliet. You're the best. This is comedy. I oh, know they are Look funny. Look at these creatures. Flamingo donuts <laughs> that are AKA pool. What do you call them? Pool floats. Pool floats. Did I put the head on the wrong side? Yeah, oh, you yeah, did. You did. That's <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>